and and I said to myself, well, why would they do that? Well, it's because the dollar is going to go down, and they know it. And when it goes down, others, and especially commercial people in other countries, will not want to re- receive dollars. They want to be paid some other way, uh, like in their own comfort currency, perhaps. And the poor souls who are on vacation, they won't want to take their uh, American Express or uh, their credit or debit cards, or you won't be able to use an a, 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 perhaps an AT, ATM card, and so on and so forth. So that's going to create a crisis. And uh, I think the dollar will fall from 79 and a half where it is right now to the support level of 7118. And during that period of time, you'll have this flu situation going. You have uh, uh, legislation which has been ground to a halt. And I think they're going to do a beta test of three to five days on shutting the banks down. There's a good possibility of that. And then the next time around, when they shut the banks down, they're not going to open them. And then they're going to have a devaluation, and they're going to have a default, and they're going to have a big powwow like they did in the early 70s in the Smithsonian talks, and then at 8, 1985 uh, at the Plaza Accords. And all of these countries will get together, and uh, they will have formulas for devaluing those currencies against revaluing these currencies, and there will be a death uh, default uh, 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 agreement. That's what they're headed for here. And so that's why it's extremely important not to belong any currency if you can help it and to be in gold and silver related assets because they are going to either hold their own or go up in value. It's like a bad dream, Bob. I mean, everybody I know is either losing their job or getting pay cuts the economy is just falling apart everywhere, and they're not bringing the factories back. They're not bringing the jobs back. They are, by design, the White House economic science czar says in his own textbooks he wants to shut down the economy and how to destroy the U.S. economy is described in here, and that's actually what is covered in the book, Eco-Science. I mean, it, it, that's what they're doing now. It, it, it's that they're so over-the-top criminal that we're almost defenseless against it just because we can't even imagine they're this corrupt. Uh, I've always said that it is very, very difficult for the average, decent human mind to even co- contemplate the diab- diabolical criminality of these people. They just can't believe people can be that bad, just like you just said. So sick. It's like a bad dream. It's it's. A caller said a few days ago, and I've since been repeating this. It's true. It's like being in a car with a maniac driving it at 150 miles an hour down a road, and you know over the next hill there's a hairpin turn, a 25 mile an hour turn, and you're telling, "Look, lunatic." Slow down. It's real. There's danger over that hill. And they just say, shut up, conspiracy theorists, and you're all strapped in, and they're driving like a maniac about to kill you. And that's how I felt talking to these FBI guys. It's just, I'd tell them about the New World Order, and it's all just funny. It's all a joke. It's all a game. No, it isn't a game. It isn't a joke. It's real. It surely is. What do you see Obama doing as his approval rating? Well, I predicted in January that in September, October, it would be 40. And I guess the Rasmussen has it at 45 right now or something like that? Yeah, it was uh, Rasmussen had it 49 last week, and now it's dropped uh, to 40 in some demographics, but overall 47. And other polls have got him at 49, 48, 47. And these are groups that normally cook polls. So he is just... Well, he's plunged faster than any president in modern history. Yep, and uh, his uh, his uh, claim to, to to great fortune uh, is that uh, he settled a dispute in Cambridge, Massachusetts, over somebody who'd been picked up by the police, and he said we can get this all sorted out by having a beer together. And then the media is all he had a Bud Light, the big corporate, you know, kind of white trash beer. <laughs> 
And I'm not saying Bud Light's, I mean, it really is bad beer, in my opinion. But the point, I mean, Anheuser-Busch has got a few good products. But, I mean, the issue is it's all about the, the average guy beer, you know, that he was drinking and the other guys. It's all just fluff crap. Incidentally, Alex, do, do you know who Jackie Mason is? Yes, to the moon without a rocket. Well, he's one of my favorite comics. And he just did a piece on Obama, and I've got the link. Oh, no, 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 no. That was Jackie Gleason. Yeah, no, no, I know who Jackie Mason is. He he goes on Fox News, sure. Yeah, and anyway, he's just made a tape about Mr. Obama, our president. And uh, uh, you'll see it tomorrow in my issue, the, the link. And uh, he really takes him apart. He says Mr. Obama is a racist. Well, I don't even know Mr. Obama's a racist. He is a race pimp. He's a social engineer. He knows how to play everybody off against each other. Anyway, it's entertaining. I just, I, well, let's just take calls. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless here. Uh, Maggie in Arizona. Maggie, you're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, hello. It's such a privilege to talk to you, Alex, and to you too, Mr. Chapman. Um, what, I, what I'm asking about is, Alex, I understand I missed part of the show yesterday, unfortunately, and I understand that there was an email and a caller regarding uh, possible confirmation, seeing something from the feds in regards to a bank holiday calling for the late, late August undetermined links. I'm wondering if you no, might... No, no, uh, she was, she was, and, and we did get the document. Um, and, and we've gotten other similar documents and documents with hospital workers being told they have to take shots. And then a day after the guy told us that and gave us the document, it was actually in the news. So this was a bank uh, that is in New Orleans, and they were saying, we're going to have these injections for you. As I, I From another source, I um, heard they, they actually did get an email from someone who has a close friend in the banking industry, and she saw a notification stating that they would be closing undetermined links. The date will be determined late in August. Yeah, well, there's a lot of banks themselves that are closing or being taken over, so there's a lot of those notices going out. But the establishment may have a bank holiday, but really they're just going to devalue the currency. But we have the expert on the line with us. Ma'am, I appreciate your call. Uh, can you answer Maggie's question? We do know, and I did confirm this, the State Department has all its embassies moving mostly out of their cash reserves. They have millions per embassy uh, in these vaults for, for different payoffs and different emergencies and other things, little CIA command bases. You remember that story a month ago or so about them dumping a lot of dollars and getting their local currency coming up for the fall. That more and more looks like for the flu, a global flu pandemic in case they – decide to go with that, or is that something else, Bob Chapman? Well, I just interpreted it just a little while ago as uh, 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 being, and I said I backed into it, being that the dollar was going to fall and not be accepted as readily as they might like, and it, and it probably will cause a crisis. And in an embassy, let's say in Munich, which is one of the ones that received uh, this money, um, they galloped out and got rid of the dollars and bought euros. And that's so that they would have a stash there in the local currency that would be accepted that they could continue to do the things that they have to do. That's my take on it. Yes, ma'am, I wouldn't put anything past them. They're clearly moving on all fronts to bring in the New World Order agenda. They're in high gear. And so we have Department of Defense driving around the parking lot and FBI visiting and uh, because the criminal takeover is happening and the banks are just totally raping the country. I mean, and, and they, let me tell you, I am a canary in the coal mine. If they come grab me for something, folks, you better just, you better just squeeze your butt cheeks together because they're coming after you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm out of control, folks. It's just, it's just that, it's just that this is really going on. This is really happening. <laughs> That's pretty funny, isn't it, Bob? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to get better, and I, I think that's what you're trying to say. And, and so please, please, please prepare yourself mentally, physically, and get your food, your dehydrated, freeze-dried food into your filter, and make sure you get plenty of clips and ammo. 
it, it's it's probably going to come down to that. And I hate to have to say that, but uh, you know, there's no. And they're like vampires. Mean. They look for any excuse to get you in their system, like you've done something. Oh, you had a hair sticking up. You had a crooked toenail. Life in prison. Well, they they are overreacting to crime, and, uh, and and when it's really not even crime, and you know, hear the people like you and I who talk about the truth, we're terrorists, we're bad people, and of course we're not. Well, I did show the FBI a Ron Paul sticker in the parking lot. I said, "Look, DHS report terrorist," and they kind of went, "Yeah, yeah," and kind of smiled inward. They should be ashamed of themselves. 